And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiasts. C and Jewel, just Jewel. Getting another AK Blade episode started. Rup, rup, right. Nice. Yep. With new carries at AK from brands like Giant Best Mouse, Tech, Sog, CMB, Circuit, Air Steel. No one can understand that last one. Real Steel. Mm. You understand it when we see it. Yeah. We're going to head right into the CMB knives, knives Swiggler. Though that's not the real name. Its real name is Kawananagarg. Mm. Your guess is as good as mine. I can guess. All right, so here we go. Four different options to choose from. This folding knife is 7.08 inch when fully deployed. 3.14 inch wavy style blade. We won't call it Chris. Made of S35 VN steel. Finishes vary. Black sat black to satin. Blade features a plain edge, 0.118 of thickness, and it's open with a jimped flipper tab. Front flipper, too. Yeah, we have to talk about that. Yeah. Handless titanium black or blue, depending on which model you go with. It has various great. carbon fiber inlay options. So these frame locks have the titanium tip of pod clips, which is also wavy. Weigh 2.57 ounce, and were designed by Tagus. Very good. And then begin at only $199.95 from AtlanticKnife.com. Mm. Yeah, if you're go. not doing it with your thumb, it's a little harder, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, you can go first. I'll let you go first. Are you sure? Yeah. What if I don't want to go first? That's your choice. All right, well, I really like this knife. I think it's a nice design. I like the aesthetics of it. I like the features, how everything is wavy, as you call it. Contoured perfectly with the blade. Um, you know, the pivot's nice. It's got a nice, smooth, everything is smooth. The only issue, you know what it is. It did put some jimping on it. That's kind of cool, so I like that also. I am really enamored by the uh, pocket clip. I'd like to see how that really works out. Good quality materials. Seems like a collectible knife to me. Yeah, I do like the design of the knife too, aside from... It does have a wavy blade similar to the, the Cold Seal Tylite Chris that you were mentioning. However, mm -hmm. this one has the wavy handle, which mimics the blade, which is different and interesting. I don't see a huge practical purpose for the wavy handle. I mean, it, it fits okay, but I, I can see a use for the wavy blade. I, I've heard that, uh, you know, it can increase cutting capacity since it has, you know, the waves here, like drawing through meat or pushing through whatever you're cutting. Downside, I feel like they're harder to maintain, you know, if you damage the edge or something. So I feel like overall, very nice design, quality materials, like you said, but I wouldn't make an everyday carry. I think it's more of a yeah, you collectible. You can't throw it on a work sharp, can you? Mm, no. All right, so. Unless you're really, really skilled. Moving on? Yeah, go I don't ahead. think anybody's that skilled, but who knows. <laughs> Next, we have the Best Tech Bambi. Yay. Available in different options, of course, is Best Tech's way. There's various ironwood, oxbone, and stag options. Now, I'm very intrigued by this. So, here we go. All have Damascus blades. Yep, which are also offered in various finishes. Mm -hmm. So we're sporting the one with the oxbone option. Yep. So it's 7.28 inches when fully open and has a 3.11 inch Damascus blade, plain edge, flat grind, 0.11 inch thickness, and some jimping. Comes to about 59.60 on the HRC scale and is deployed with the back jimped flipper stud. Handle scales on this are the white oxbone with stainless liners underneath. I believe they have the black finish on them. Finally, this liner lock weighs just 3.48 ounces. Comes with a leather sheath with pocket clip. It's available at Atlantic.com. Go ahead. Hmm, are you sure? Starting. Starts at 129. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, here's where I'm at. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, well, you went first last time. You want me, oh, you want, what are your thoughts? Give it to Thank us. Thank you, okay. So it's nice, it's definitely out of the norm. Uh, I haven't, I think I've seen Oxbone one other time, I think. I think it was Lion Steel. So, Oxbone's really nice. And the Damascus only adds to the design. I really like the Damascus. Now, there is no pocket clip. 
I'm not sure why. I don't know. Maybe they didn't want to put another hole in the bone or they think it's classier this way, snazzier. I'm not sure. And I like the pouch. I just feel like a pocket clip would have been better. Okay. Go ahead. Take All it right. away. So, I'm not sure where to go with this. To me, this kind of says, um, what's the word? Cow hand, uh, farmer, um, country person like ourselves does it yeah like you might put this down in your boot or something and then i look at it and think wow it, it looks like something that would be american made and then it kind of reminds me of well would i buy marlboros from an israeli i mean i was kind of thinking i want to see the stag one the stag one's the one that really because when i think of stag knives i think of um what's that kick? charade um Case. Yes, Kara Karen's uh, the reindeer bone company. Oh, I know. What and you're then the about. other one. Um, oh man, I can't remember. Uh, something with a K. That's the stag I would think of as nice stag. So I, I don't need to look at it. I haven't seen it yet not to see if it. No, it's not. Karis Karis window. Yeah, and there's another one, but there's um, another one too. I can't remember what it is, but it's a very nice approach that I haven't really seen in. I've never seen it in Damascus, I have to say that. I have never either. And the oxbone thing, I mean, I think you can probably find some in some old bucks and other uh, type of knives, but normally it's high-end. So, I don't know, it seems kind of weird for best tech. It is kind a of stag, odd, but it's out of the norm. you ever heard of a Chinese knife and stag? Besides, like, st a stag lawn or something that they made low-end made for somebody their, else. Themselves. I've never heard of one. And uh, Maybe this is probably the European else. influence that's coming up. Uh, with all I, their know, I just thought it was interesting because you never see something like this from. And see, them. I don't know what to really say about it because I, I think I like it. I mean, I, the pocket clip thing. Eh. Put a pocket clip on it. Yeah. I want a pocket clip. I like the pouch because it's leather. It it's good. nice, isn't it? It is a nice knife. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And that was a roundabout way to take you nowhere. It's the giant mouse atelier folder on the table next. So we saw this one at Blade Show 2023 as well, mm -hmm. but it's not as new as the Rio, but we still have to feature it because, come on, giant mouse mm -hmm. quality. Okay, so three options. There's green micarta, red micarta, and carbon fiber. Drop point blade is 2.875 inch long, made of Elmac steel, satin finish, flat grind, plain edge, and minor spine jimping for precision cutting. Yeah. Blade is open <laughs> with thumb hole and disengage with liner lock. Handle scales are either canvas micarta or carbon fiber. On. With a tip up. Reversible. Wired pocket clip. Lastly, each atelier has its own uh, backspacer. So the gray and red have the titanium gray backspacer. And the carbon fiber has the anodized blue backspacer. So they each come with boxes and canvas pouches. <sighs> I mm. know. Can't yes. beat a pouch. You can't. Get that layer for 28215. 215. From Atlantanife.com. Somebody's going to want to charge them three extra bucks. Mother in law's pouch. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mother in law's pouch. You can go first. Still empty and flabby. That's great. Um, that's how my fault. Wow. It's nature. All right. So I'm always impressed by the giant Thank goodness mouse. She stuff. doesn't operate the internet. <laughs> Her VCR doesn't know how. <laughs> um, you know, their styling is always very nice. I like the blade shape of this. This one is less Gen Zanso than the others, but I can see it here with the... Uh, this is more, yes, yeah, spark of oxness. <laughs> yeah, more uh, with, the, with the thumb hole. I really like that. The uh, scales are really nice. I just can't find the wreath guy. What's the wreath guy? The American. Oh, gotcha. He's just so lost. Where is he at? So, I mean... I mean, it's a really nice knife. It's good styling. I think I might want to have to get one of these because get that. I'm getting too many. We'll have to go over that one day. Have too many. Elmax can't beat that. I either. know. I think that's. I think that's what I like most about it. Is I like the design of the, this giant mouse. Not as slim as the Rio. A little more bulky in terms of the handle and fit. But the steel, high quality, if not better in some eyes compared to the Rio. Because mm. I think the Rio was like Magnacut. Some people were like Elmax. I'm not gonna make make waves here, so 
you guys take your own sides. Um, options are good too. I like that you can get the the snazzier one in carbon fiber, you know, with the blue anodized backspacer, mm -hmm. or you can go with the tried and true Macarta. It's a little more uncommon than the red one, so if you still want to have something a little more, I like more Macarta. Unique. Yeah, thumb hole, eh, it's fine. It lo works well, locks well. Another top notch folder from Giant Mouse. Can't beat that. Yep. With that, it's the SOG Provider FX. Ooh. Yeah. All right. All right. One option, as is typical. Uh, fixed carry is 8.1 inch overall, 3.75 inch Cryo 154 cm drop point blade, excellent edge retention, corrosion resistance, full spine jimping. Nice. All right. Plain edge stone wash finish. Handle has a removable green G10 scales. Which one will not be demonstrating. Which to lighten and streamline the tool, of course. While also making it easier to clean. Whether the scales uh, or not, the knife also features a lanyard hole. Comes with a green Kydex sheath. And sports SOGS. Universal mounting system. Yeah. Weighs just five ounces. This full tank carry can be yours for $149.99 from AlenticKnife.com. Okay, so nice carry, but I have seen, you know, the removable scale, skeletonized look from SOG countless of times. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, it's it's quality, and it's an interesting to see that SOG's now dabbling in 154cm. And I like the full spine jumping. Some people don't like jumping, but I do. I like the, the full spine jumping. It's different. It's a SOG to a T, but I don't know. I just, nothing about it screams I gotta have it. It's it's okay. It doesn't blow my screen. Reminds you of the others. Except I will say this. It is uh, it's more well-built, appropriate to say. More it well is more well-built than the ones they've had in the past couple of it's years. better built. Better built. That's the word I'm looking for. That's what we have, Joel. <laughs> She gives you the words you need to say. All right, so uh, here, yeah. Ready to move on? Oh, it's all you're gonna say? Yeah, I think I go with that because I, this is not my style of fixed blade. You know what kind I like? Rapid I'm more strike. of the yeah, well, more of the tour <laughs> handle. You know, nice, nice oh, wooden scales. Oh, the tour. Or like Sorry, a, a K bar or something like that. Oh, like the feel, bro. Too more cool. blades to come, but oh. first, make sure to hit those like, share, comment, subscribe buttons, along with ringing, ringing that. YouTube with a capital Y and T yeah. bell. That way you're in with AK. Get access to our latest content and you're automatically entered into giveaways. I think she just splashed gang symbols. Last week to get in on July for Joker's giveaway. You can double your chances by becoming an official AK member. Link is down below. Winner will receive their very own Joker Arizo TS1 with extra sheaths, fire starter, striker, paracord, and AK merch. Don't miss out. Enter now. Okay, it's free, it's easy, it's quick, and it only benefits you. What else does that nowadays? I don't think anything. All right, so we are back to the table. We are hitting the CRKT Cal oh, You know what we didn't do? What? We didn't do the, what kind of deals do you have going oh, on? Oh, we That's still- That's all right. No, 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 just real quick. We still got tons of Civivi and Wii's on sale. And then, uh, what was that other thing? Don't miss the- uh, chronic in Damascus, unbelievable price. And what's the other one? Appalachian Drifter. That's another one. And the Asticus in rubbed Mini copper. Mini Asticus. I think that's uh, Damascus too, isn't it? I don't think their copper one is. No, it's not? Okay. No. There's a couple of Damascus ones from like the 40 50 range. I'm like, wow, you gotta have those. You gotta, you gotta. Which has been one. a problem for my collection. Yeah. And All then, right. of course, we got new stuff coming out. Like we have a, a drop of some new giant mouse knives. The 27th, I want to say. Is that Friday? I think so. I can't remember. I can't remember. It's one of those days. It is. So Whatever the newest two are, we got those. The so. Can I say the names? You can say the Deep names. memory. The Jutland and the I know. Iona? Iona. Iona, Iona V2. Yeah, so those knives yeah. will be dropping. And we so. won't be here that day. We'll be close that day. But we'll be online. Yeah, so there you can get it us is. anytime we'll online. North Carolina. 24 hours. All Everybody's right. going. Even Wendy Wong. Oh, I'm sure she'll like that. Mm -hmm. All right. So with that, we're hitting the new CRKT Calby. Oh, wow. Yep. Just one option. Electric blue. Boogie woogie. 7.31 inch. When opened, you went boogie woogie woogie? Yes. But when we had her name was Rio earlier, you didn't say it dances in the sand? I did. I said that last week. Oh. Has 3.28 inch. Japanese. Is that Akuto? It's like acute. So acute. Akuto it is. 
440 steel blade. I'm sure I butchered it. Probably. Blade edge, satin finish, and 0.11 thickness. Open with a gent flipper tab and operating on the infamous IKBS they ball bearing are pivot system. By this point, aren't they? I think your doors at CRKT operate on the IKBS. Probably ball do. System. Ready to blink an eye? Yeah, Here it is. Flip it right open. So aluminum handle is CRKT's unmissable blue. It's got this patterning here for extra grip. There's also the low profile pocket clip and a lanyard hole backspacer type of thing, you know, for your keychain or your fob. It's just two ounces. This Jeff Park design is part of the CRKT Crossbones family. So you can have the CRKT Calby for just, I don't know exactly. They didn't tell us. Yeah. But you'll see it. Well, there's Not too link. much. Not too much. 80, 90, meh. Somewhere yeah. around there from alandknife.com. You know, I was just thinking about, you just keep mentioning that blue in different names. There was a fad with a blue color that I am so glad is gone. Yeah, and okay. someone doesn't realize mm -hmm. that I'm making fun of them when I say things like Jewel Jade. Oh, okay. Because I'm... Well, I'm we're not making fun of I mean, we oh, like we it. we aren't? It's all right. All right. I might have been just a little. Maybe she was. Just a little. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and you can go first. What do I think of this beautiful electric blue knife? There you go. Well, I mean, be honest with you, it's, it's like the others, kind of. I mean... It's good styling. I like the crossbones on the, uh, the pivot. pivot. I'm sure it'll be great to cut. I mean, for carry, light carry is very light. I mean, for everyday Two use, ounces. sure, it'd be great. I mean, I always love the thinness that CRKT is able to put into their blades, and they're sharp. So, you know, perfectly centered. I'll give it that, too. I like this knife. I do like the blue that CRKT does. However, I do think this knife is very similar to some other folders that they've done, especially the ones they've done. Do you the like cross this one better than the other folders? I thought the crossbones were a little bit bigger. It's a little bigger, but it looks kind of just like this. I don't, I don't know. I feel like just slapping on a new color doesn't make it a different knife. Ah, oh, lipstick on a pig. Yeah, I mean, I like that you did options, but you could have just done the original crossbone and then just done it in this. I mean, a little smaller is fine, but you could have tweaked it a little. Right. I mean, it does open very well, and CRKT did use a different steel this time. All right. And we've been asking for them to use different steel, so I think they also use something similar, I think, on the CRKT Ripple, which was a very popular knife. It's first well, collab time ago. between CRKT and Ken Onion. I haven't tested the steel myself, though, but I feel like it could be on par with 440C or 9CR. I'm not sure. Because I, of the price range? Yeah, the price range mm -hmm. is what, what tips me off of that part, but it could be better. And this probably know. means we need to give Best Tech more props. We do. Because they did something totally different. They did. And it wasn't 309.85. That's true. It's true. So, maybe you should pick up a Best Tech. I, I think I'm going to now. It's great. So I, I do like it. It's not my favorite CRKT, but it's not a bad bet. It's, it's a solid knife. You wouldn't be upset mm. if you got it. I would. would be fine. Right, yeah. Give me a knife. I ain't going to be upset at all. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. It's time for the Real Steel Sakura Slide Lock. Five different options to pick from. What yep. are these, Jewel? So that would be the Blue, Green, Brown, Blackout, and Jade. Very Though nice. it will be coming in a few uh, Blackout tactical options as well. Hmm. So the first three I mentioned, the blue, green, and brown are Micarta. The last two feature G10. So this folder is the blue Micarta. It has a 3.31 inch Bowler K110 blade, which comes in stone wash or black finish. It has a plain edge, flat grind, 0 0.12 inch thickness, and a touch of jimping. Ah, yeah. got a little grateful date in there. That's touch great. of jimping. That's great. All right. Blade can be deployed with slide lock or dual sided thumb studs. Handle features a reversible tip up pocket clip. Designed by Jacob of Poltergeist Works. This knife is 7.36 inch when fully deployed and starts at just 71 pity. From a land knife .com. All right, give it okay. to him. Nice design from Real Steel and uh, Poltergeist Works. Steel is razor sharp, typical from Real Steel, as C well knows. So the options are good as well. Honestly, I don't dislike anything about this, this slide lock from them. They're a little behind the curve because of the slide lock, but better late than never. It's not it's not a bad knife to have as an EDC. I'd have it. And it's got the reversible pot clip for lefties, mm -hmm. so that's nice. I Good saw knife. the uh, can set came out the left-handed knife today. All right, young grasshopper. Yes. 
I have to tell you, this is the most responsive slide lock I have ever seen in my entire life. If I want it to do something, it does it. Top, right in the middle. Top, bottom. I mean, it is amazing. I have never, I mean, I like that Sog Terminus, but I mean, it just, it just does right what you want it to. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, I, I, I was shocked when I saw it. Now, for the design, I've seen this design before. I mean, it's not bad. I like the um, liner overextending the scale a little bit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Real Steel's problem, as always, is that this, nobody really hears about them and knows about them. Doesn't talk about them that much. They're not as... Uh, well known. Yeah. As Sabivi and we do. They don't keep their customer up to date on what they have coming out and what they're doing. And That's true. But, is this available in green? Yes. See, I think I'd get one of these. At 7150, K110, I'm starting to like the K110 now. Um, you know, pocket clip's a little uh, basic. Basic. But, I mean, we're not going to sit here and be Nip. picky over this $70 knife. Are. I mean, it's very nice. I would carry it. I would use it. All right. Probably you carry it, jimping, you'd use but, it. You know. It has a little. There's a touch of jimping. Little Remember? Little. Grateful mm -hmm. Dead? Touch of gray. Okay, so our next knife is... What is our next knife? The CMB Made Knives. Is it? Is it for me to do? The yes. button lock? There you go. Yeah, I want to three, stick with the last one. I know. Three models to pick from. Blackout, gray, and white. It's only a matter of time till CMB got on the button lock. Okay? Yeah. I'm pretty excited. I Are like CMB knives. Yeah. So it's 6.93 inch when opened. It has a 2.87 inch 14C 28 in blade. Plain edge flat grind. About of an eighth of an inch thickness and jimping. Yes. Naturally, there are options with black and stone wash finish. Blade can be opened with jimped flippers. No, non jimped flipper. Tear. Not jimped? Non jimped flipper. That's ridiculous. With Or the button lock, sorry. Or button lock. Some people don't like jimping, so no, I mean this that. is for them. Backspacer with lanyard hole, as well as a reversible tip up pocket clip. Yes. Alright. It does have a little jimping on, doesn't it? On the backspacer. But not on the tab. No, not on the tab. Okay. Anti-jimping on the tab this time around. So are the handle handle scales are G10 and resigned by I I made me do it this time, so Which tells you Hard, she normally makes Hardia, me say it. Hardia design. Yeah, I would have said Hydra and just pretend like I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Weighing only three point four nine ounces, you can have this EDC in your pocket. Starting at just eighty six eighty four from AtlanticKnife.com. I think they're all eighty six eighty four, so mm-hmm. Wouldn't be starting the LB. Okay, you can go first. Well, I'll be honest. Don't be mean. Always am. I'm not. Don't be mean. Very unfortunate for this knife to be. To follow the real to steel. To follow the real steel. Ugh. It is. I mean, it's fifteen dollars more. It's like following Queen. It's a. It's like following Queen. <laughs> you can't. Sorry. Wow. What? Um, it's a, it's a nice knife. I'm sorry, I need something from your and it's generation. It's a button lock and not a slide lock, but. Like following Elvis. I like this one so Can't much. It was an Elvis. A plus to me. This one would only be a B plus. I mean, there's some things that I don't like about it. I'm not fond of the scales. Now I know they're very uh, what would you call them? Amari style. Amari. And, and yeah. I get that, but it's nowhere near the size. I hadn't really got there yet. But. I don't like the color combination. Oh, I like of the, the combo. Well, you can like it all you want. Yes, thank you. Um, other than that, I mean, you know, nice blade. I give it that. No usable choil. That's very disappointing. That brings you down and sees It does eyes. bring you down. And when you're in a, um, I don't want to say a battle, what's the word? When a you're battle. in competition with hundreds of button locks. Oh, okay. You know, you're really going to have to, you're, you're going to have to real steal it. But that's you know? a slide lock. Huh? I button know, lock. but there's lots of crossbar locks. And, and this one, I mean, the coming I've looked at and played with. And this one, out of all them, is the one I like the best at. Besides Terminus. But well, Terminus, you know, that has two purposes. You know, knife and window break. You just throw it. So. That's great. What do you think? So, Give it to them now. It's, I like it. It's pretty big blade, pretty big handle. It reminds me of the Amara Colosso. Mm -hmm. And I liked that knife. I did too. The button lock, I think it's just as good as the Quibid or the There are people the out there right now like you're damaging that knife. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> I play with the knives. So Go ahead. Me. Don't do it, Medford. Okay, so I think the blade is also well sharpened, cuts nicely. I would have liked a little jimping on, on the I do like tab. that blade style. It is a nice blade mm -hmm. style. 
and it's got the back flipper tab it's got the reversible pot clip and it's a good size so i think it's an a plus all right I think it's a, a plus knife. for you then yep. that me. means we've reached the last knife for this week yep. and i can hear the groans yep so it's the giant mouse nibbler guys yep. so there's four options available there's a, we got all four to show you i know so there's blue green purple and red oh, oh look at wow. them they're so pretty okay so probably more of a pocket or key ring folder so it's 4.76 inches when fully deployed and has a two inch satin finish bowler n690 sheep's foot blade it can be opened with the thumb slot handle is aluminum and is available in these colors these liner locks sports the AISI 420 hardened liners, tip up reversible wire pocket clip, and an aluminum backspacer slash liner hole. Yeah. Pounce on a giant mouse for only $95 from midlandknife.com. This is cute. Okay. It is. It is. So super handy little liner locks. Such nice candy popping colors, kind of like the, the Texels oh. we did a couple years ago. Feel the rainbow. Yeah. So. I think I would carry one. They're just, it's small, but for the carry that it is, it's going to be one of those key rings things. I think it's pretty big. Did we say what kind of, how are these scales were made of? Aluminum. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Well, I got to be honest. I like, I like the aluminum. I, I've Green. never really liked to use it in the past. Green. But, man, I tell you, the brightness she of colors, the smooth, me. clean look. Turn yeah. them into earrings. Maybe. The door knockers. Um, Maybe. Very nice little knife. A little smaller would be your earrings. Good quality on a blade, way they're done, they're finished. I mean, everything's polished nicely. For a nice little box opener, you know, throw you a little uh, keychain in there and you put it on your keychain or hang it as like a Somebody little Somebody at Giant Mouse must have something against a flipper tab. Yeah, I'm not sure he's very fond of flipper tabs. But that's okay. It'll so. make it better, like four a hundred times better if it had a little flipper. Yeah. Just a little one. It doesn't have to be too big. Just big enough so I can just... I think this works pretty good too. I like the green one. Green one's my favorite. Alright, that was our final carry this week. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe as well as ring the bell. That way you're connected with AK and all its content. Five minute reviews, one minute previews, AK Blade episodes, and more. I might be doing possibly... Scales. Oh, if she wants to. On a spider yeah. coat. I saw a video. I saw oh, a video. you know what? Don't miss next week because we're going to have some uh, really interesting knives. And we might have some new brands to tell you about. <gasps> Working on several of those. Ones you've probably never even heard of. I'm sure you've never heard of. Probably. I hadn't heard of them. You can double your chances by becoming. I look real smart after editing. <laughs> you mean, do. You, you look smart Double your chances by, be <laughs> by becoming an AK member. Did you see that? You can. Click on the link in the description, create an account, and you are finished. It's free, easy, quick. You increase your chances of winning, especially the July's for Joker's giveaway. Yep, so last week enter for the Joker Rezo TS1 since Joker of July will be over oh, wow. next week. Exactly. What are we doing next, do you know? Um, I don't know. It okay. might be we, might be some VVs. We in the business call that a tease. Might be a couple of things. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me see what I can cook up okay right. so we're also you can see all the happenings on our social media sites like facebook pinterest reddit youtube instagram yeah. rumble and ak's blog wow camera girl freaking coached him on that one not cool go ahead we're also posting. we're always posting knife photos videos of the newest knives ak deals and more okay time favorite knife this i already week. gave mine away go ahead yeah so obviously yours is the real steel yeah i do like Sa the sacra I have so many of them. I actually like this one. You ever notice how this happens? I have one that I like, and I any other week, number one. Any other week, number one. This week, and don't forget these. I mean, you know. Would have been this one. Not for this. I yep. really like this knife. But I think I'm going to go... I don't know. The nibbler's cute, too. I totally carry this one. Uh, no pocket clip. No pocket clip. Mm. That's a break, though, because I always... Choose it or lose it. Choose it or lose it. Going okay. in three. Three. Two. One. I'm going with the best. Egg. All right. The best egg band. There it is. That's the end. With that, I'm C, and this is Joel. Just Joel. We're signing off.
Straight edge and mine spine minor jumping. Spine jumping, yeah. Are you serious? It's minor. We'll start over again. C, two cold ones. Wow, I could have swore that we would start over again. Well, I hadn't heard of them, so yeah, yeah. I don't mean that you haven't, because I haven't. I'm not trying to. You know. Yeah. Okay. You also get automatically entered in giveaways. That'll get edited. You can double your chances by becoming. I look real smart after editing. <laughs> you mean. do.